Uh, my name is Corey Eddy. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Massachusetts and I study lionfish in Bermuda for my thesis. Uh, lionfish come from the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Throughout their native range, they're not so much a threat as what we've experienced in the Atlantic. The, the reef fish around there, they sort of recognize lionfish are dangerous and they avoid them, which means lionfish can't eat as much of the small stuff, whether it's fish, crabs, lobsters, or anything else that we see happening around here. We think they first got to Bermuda and the Atlantic through the aquarium trade. They're very popular as pets and you can buy them in most uh, pet stores through the U.S. and online. So we figure that one person or a few people had them as pets and decided enough was enough and they threw them into the ocean instead of into the trash. So once they were introduced, which would have been sometime in the early 80s, they just really started to spread out like, like wildfire, sort of. They, they mature very quickly, they can be adults within one year, and they make a lot of babies every, every year. In fact, every two or three days they can do this. So once the population was established and making babies, it just really blew up quite rapidly in just no more than 15, 20 years. So lionfish are a threat throughout the Atlantic because they, they're an invasive species. They, they don't belong here, they don't naturally fit into the ecosystem, and they eat a lot of everything. It doesn't matter if it's a small bodied fish or a juvenile fish, any sort of crab, lobster, or shrimp, they eat everything. And they eat huge numbers of it. And they have nothing that's eating them uh, in return to slow down their population growth. So they have a potential to make a big impact wherever they're found. Uh, it's a potential big problem because it, it sort of throws the ecosystem out of order. We're losing a lot of different species. We're potentially losing herbivores which eat seaweed off the reef and would keep the reef clean and healthy. Uh, something like, an herb like herbivores like parrotfish. We're also losing species that are important to the economy. You know, we lose barbers, we lose conies, we, we lose maybe juvenile groupers and even maybe juvenile spiny lobsters. So we're losing things that not only are important to the reef but they're important to to humans for food and for recreation. So lionfish are a problem everywhere they are found in the in the North West Atlantic. It's basically full time from uh, Venezuela in the south all the way up to Cape Hatteras and sometimes even further north. So that includes all of the Caribbean Sea, all of the Gulf of Mexico. There's even reports of lionfish in Brazil. So wherever they are, they're having the same impact by eating small things we will hear somebody say, well, why do you have to kill that? It's such a beautiful fish. And a lot of people are just concerned with killing fish anyway. So they lump lionfish into that category. And we hear it a lot, but it takes, you know, 30 seconds to explain the problem and they change their minds. So culling invasive lionfish is very important. It's the only way we can remove them from the ecosystem, whether it's spear fishermen, uh, free divers, scuba divers, anything like that. Every lionfish that we remove ultimately saves dozens, hundreds, maybe thousands of reef fish. So we really need to get in the water and, and start doing that.